Saturday the 28th of January. So technically still low spend, no spend January. I called at Tesco's and Little, and I spent, let me look, £4.26 at Lidl and I bought some more plain crisps, those are 82p. Just keeping my stocks up, I think I've got two spare. I actually haven't got a spare bleach but I just got one, that was 60p. The yeast extract, I haven't got a spare. I just got one. And that, let me have a look. How much was the yeast extract? That's 195. And I got another one of these vitamin C and zinc that I got the other week for 99p because they're on special offer. 10% uh, off at 89p. So what did I say? I spent £4.26. And at Tesco's, I got these white sub rolls, reduced to 44p. And I got these lovely, finest pork chipolata sausages. And they're reduced to, let me see, half price, yes, £3 down to one fifty. So at Tesco's, I spent £1.94. I remembered the last time I went to a home bargains, and I don't often go, is that they sold this I Can't Believe It's Not Butter for £1.25, the lighter one. And anyway, it's still £1.25, so I got two. And then when I was passing the garlic... That was cheap as well, because I'm on the last garlic bulb, and that was 59p. And then, because I'm coming towards the end of those potatoes, I've still got a few left that I got when they were on special offer for the Christmas period. But I saw these, and they actually look fine. Sometimes they can be going a, a bit green, or sometimes they can be sprouting, but they look fine. And they were 50p. So, like I always do, I will take them out of this plastic. I'll put them on a rack overnight and let them dry off. And then I will store them either in a canvas bag or the bottom of the fridge if I've got room. And those sausages that I've got reduced, I actually have a cousin coming for lunch tomorrow. And I thought with those sausages, I will make some sausage rolls so I called at Tesco's and they have this reduced fat puff pastry and it was £1.25 but I thought well for ease I'll buy it and when I got to the till it was a pound and tenpence 15p saving there as well so I had three quarters of the packet of sausages left and I only used half of those to make these sausage rolls. I carefully, with a sharp knife, put, scored the sausages and then took the skins off. I also peeled an apple and after I'd cut the pastry, the ready-bought pastry, into the right size pieces, I put a sausage some thin, thinly sliced apple on top and then to seal it I just used some brushed egg and I'm running a fork over it there just to seal it a bit more firmly and with some of the egg that I'd got left I just brushed the top of the sausage rolls and then with the egg that was actually left I made the quiche first of all I sweated off some leeks that I'd got reduced a few weeks ago. I've still got one of those left. I added another egg, so it's two eggs, um, some milk, the leeks, a little bit of tuna that I've got a tin of tuna half open and some of the goat's cheese. And because I was using the oven to make full use of the oven, I made some bread and a pizza. The pizza's just goat's cheese and uh, onion. A little bit of garlic and some tomato. 
but this is it all cooked. The three bread cakes, the sausage rolls and the pizza. And when my cousins came, we had half a pizza each and a sausage roll. The um, quiche, because it was quite thick, took a little bit longer to cook. But that too, absolutely delicious. I thought we'd have a little inspection outside, although it is extremely windy. Snowdrops coming through. Lemon and bam. The rose bushes are just starting to come into leaf. Um, I think those are crocuses. Not sure. The marjoram survived the winter. I've lost one before now. But this is what I wanted to show you. It might get windy around here. That's that winter, that's that wheatgrass I was growing. I've been cutting it and using it, but I think it's done now. So I'll dig that up. This is the celery that was on my kitchen windowsill that I planted out in the summer. And this is the one, they were both re-rooted at the same time. This one was always on the kitchen windowsill and then when it got too big I put it out in the summer last year. But this one was, this is its second winter. And do you remember it actually grew really tall and I got seed from it and then I cut that bit off and it's grown a new bit. But look how that survived the winter. Got a little one growing in that rose from where I've got that rose bush growing. Well, that was a bit of a find. I've been looking and looking and looking, and everywhere I've sold out of these thermal leggings. I mean, I wear ordinary leggings underneath my tracksuit bottoms or trousers when it's really, really cold. But I thought if I could get out of some thermal ones, and anyway, I found them. Uh, Lidl had sold out. I went to a, um, an outlet store of Marks and Spencers and they would sold out. Just excuse the drilling, the fit in a new bathroom. But I got these from the Sue Ryder charity shop and they were five ninety nine. So I'm really pleased with those. And it is the last day of January, is it? Is it February tomorrow? Anyway, it's Tuesday. But for five ninety nine, and they do. I've got thermal tights, and they last such a long time. Years I've had those, They're like fleecy on the inside. Bit of a find there. Really pleased. Wednesday morning, using up the last of the submarine rolls. The last of the sausages. I sweated off. A few leeks. This is Wednesday morning brunch. And some raw red onion. Oh, and for pudding. Just some stewed apple. Using up the leftovers. I went up to North Yorkshire to visit a cousin of mine and on the way back I called down at Harrogate. There's a big saver centre there, Sainsbury's saver centre. I actually said to somebody the other day, some of my best bargains I get from Sainsbury's. This chicken and uh, cheese and ham Kievs 
reduced from 250 to 64p and people often ask me what time do you go well this was half past three in the afternoon and look at this i think this is my best bargain of the week over on the baking section again from 155 down to 10 pence some more nuts and just further on is a Morrison, so I called in there just to see what was reduced. They'd got these, um, I think they're satsumas, reduced from 99p to 30p and I just got some carrots. They're wonky carrots because they're really good value at 39p. But those, excellent. Take care, people.